By the way, if you ever just have the Lord speak to you from, you know, where one of us is ministering up here and all of a sudden he starts talking to you and you, you just pull a notepad out and start writing and you don't hear a thing, the rest of the message, that's, that's a good thing. You just stick with him. He, you know, uh, if one sentence sparks something, it's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. You just drop out of what we're doing here and just, just pay attention to what he's telling you to do. Um, it's like my grandfather said: we're not, we're not sponges that soak up a message, and then you squeeze it out when you want it. We're trees planted by the, by the streams of water, and we uh, we take in the nutrients and we make it part of our life. And so you, you don't want to just be able to repeat a message. You don't, you know, might be proud that you can memorize something. That's good. That's well. That's that's taking it in. But when the word of God really comes alive in you, it's part of your life. You may not even remember where you got it. You might not remember the scripture voice, but it's now the truth. Not just those words, but the truth that those words represent are now living in you and you start living it out in your character and your thinking process and your paradigms and your perceptions. So um, I think it's important to know that. Otherwise, we kind of get locked in and just uh, uh, the academics of this thing.